It's Vlogmas Day 16, y'all. So today we're doing a full face of Charlotte Tilbury. I don't always do an intro, but I didn't tell you guys what Vlogmas Day was. So I figured I'll do a little quick intro. Anyways, let's get into the video. I've been to do this for the longest and I finally picked up some things during the Sephora sales that just happened. So I have quite a few things. So I'm gonna be starting out with the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is a setting spray, but you could also use it before your makeup. This is by far my favorite setting spray of life. I am also gonna use it after my makeup. You can use it before and after. It helps your makeup stay on for literally 16 hours and I believe it because it's just amazing. Next, we're gonna do foundation. This is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. This stuff is really good. I have the shade 14 Neutral and I'm gonna just try to pin my hair back. I'm gonna put some on this beauty sponge and just apply it. You only need a little bit of this. It's a lot, like it gives so much coverage. I try to put my hair back into little clips. Don't mind it, it's just like all over the place. But um, I think this shade is perfect. I also love the finish, the coverage, and how long this foundation wears on me. So I'm gonna apply it all over. Wait, I think I'm blocking my mic. Let me just, let me just do some. Anyways, we're going to apply this all over and definitely blend it, blended it, <laughs> definitely blend it in. You guys see how much coverage that little drop gave me, like so much coverage. And also you can see the color it looks amazing. I'm going to add a little bit more. I'm going to add this to like around my mouth, areas where I normally color correct. I think she does have a color corrector actually. I don't know, but I didn't see it in stock at my Sephora, so I definitely need to go back and get that if she does have one. I think she does though. The one thing that I didn't pick up that I really, really, really wish I had picked up is um her it's like one of those wand sticks. It's like a wand. I've never tried it, but I heard it's like really, really good. So I definitely want to pick that up. But I was watching some TikTok videos yesterday and I kept seeing it and I was like, oh my gosh, is this like a TikTok thing? Then I'm going to go ahead and use the Magic Away Liquid Concealer. I've never tried this concealer. I picked it up during the Sephora sale and I'm going to just apply it under my eyes. I'm not the biggest fan of this type of applicator, to be honest. Like I prefer just a regular like wand. I find that this type of applicator is hard to tell like where the product is. It's just a little messy, but I still wanted to try it because obviously it's Charlotte Tilbury and I feel like her products are just really amazing. So I'm going to put some here and I definitely wasted a lot of this product because I couldn't tell how far up the product. I couldn't tell where the product was when I was first, um, opening the product I couldn't tell how far up I was pushing the concealer when I first got it so I basically wasted almost half of the concealer which is crazy like ugh. I'm so mad at myself about that but this shade looks amazing by the way like I've never this is my first time trying it on my face and it looks really good yeah this looks really good this shade is 11 by the way And I'm also gonna blend under here. I need a mirror so I can see. Okay, y'all, this concealer looks so good. I'm gonna apply a little bit more because I just wanna see like how much more coverage I can get. That's like my only con. The only con I have about this is literally the packaging. And I said that already, but I'm saying it again. Like, I really am not a fan of this packaging. I kind of want to... I wonder what happens if I take off that little sponge thing. So I can see where the product is. The coverage, though, is on full. <laughs> The coverage is amazing. I'm gonna use this on my eyelid as like an eyeshadow primer and also to help um, start my brow process because I have not done my brows in ages. So concealer does help 
um, hide some of those little hairs that stick out. Girl, this concealer is given flawless, okay? She is given flawless. I don't know if you could tell, I'm sure you can, because I got a brand new crispy lens. <laughs> um, yeah, I got a new lens for my camera, I'm so excited. You guys will see it in tomorrow's vlog. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and do some of this powder. This is number three from Charlotte Tilbury's um, Flawless Airbrush Powder. I'm not sure what the new name is for this because I got this is the old one when before she renamed them um but number wise it's number three so I'm gonna cover under here with that powder I decided to go with this because I already had it instead of going instead of using the setting powder I am gonna also use a deeper color in a second but the one I just used under my eyes and my forehead is called tan and it's really good definitely my favorite powders you can tell like I have a dent in this powder like this does not always happen I use a lot of makeup so I don't always go through products like I really don't a lot of times I will never finish a product but the things that you see me finishing or like put in dents in you just know it's good like this spray exhibit a like this is really good anyways I'm gonna move into brows because I'm really excited to try this brow pencil one of you guys told me you really love this pencil so it made me even more excited to try it and this is the pencil here it is called the brow cheat so I'm gonna go ahead and use brow cheat and I have it in the shade black brown I believe I have it in the shade natural black actually when it comes to eyebrow products I usually go for the darkest brown shade like basically almost black oh this is really nice Ooh, I love it already, you guys. It's been two seconds, but I can tell you that I freaking love this. Ah, oh, it is so good. Okay, let me tell you what I love about it so far. It is, first of all, I can see the color immediately. That does not always happen. The color is just like right there. I can see it. Secondly, the formula, it feels, the formula feels so good. It feels very like easy to work with. It's not like hard, dry. It's also not super creamy like an eyeshadow it's the perfect balance and it just glides through so easily wow this is a really good pencil you guys i don't know what it is but she always gets it right like i don't know how but she just always gets the formulas perfected I'm just going to comb through the top here so that way it could be uh, a little lighter and fluffed out. This is given brow, okay? Like, this looks really good. I'm freaking obsessed with this pencil already. What? It looks so good. And it's just, it didn't take that much effort. It just went on so well. So let's do the other side. I always like to go under. I always like to draw a line under my brow. Then I start filling it in. I try to focus on the end part right here first, like towards the end, because that's going to be the darkest part of my eyebrow. And then once that's done, I go back to the front part. By the way, I'm using a really, really light hand with this pencil because for one, it is very pigmented <laughs> and um, it just helps me control it better. If I go really hard with my, if I go really hard, which I can be very heavy handed, if I do that, then it will just look insane because this pencil is pretty dark. So just use a very light hand. No matter what color you're going with, definitely use a light hand. It just helps you control things better anyway. So we're gonna go into bronzer. This is one of my favorite bronzers. It is number four, the Airbrush Bronzer. Really amazing. You guys have seen me use this a ton. It's really one of my favorites. So I'm taking this big brush. This is from BK Beauty number 107. I'm just gonna apply this starting back here and I usually just fan it out towards the center of my face. I concentrate the bulk of the product like over here and then whatever's left on the brush I kind of like lightly dust it towards the center so it's like a gradient almost um, so it blends a lot smoother and more like realistic. And then I'm gonna take some to the forehead. Basically this is the bronzer so wherever like the sun would hit me I'm gonna apply it. And same thing on this side, Obvi. This is just such a nice color for bronzer. It's just the perfect shade for anyone around my skin tone because it's just not so much red, not so much orange. It's just a really nice balanced color. 
and I think it's amazing. Also, this is so big, it lasts forever. So now we're gonna use number four. This is the same powder I used earlier. I had number three. I had number three earlier. I'm gonna go in with number four. And basically we're gonna do this so that way, you guys, look, look at this. I also got a dent in this one. And it's crazy because I got this one, like I got this more recently and it already has a dent. Like that's how amazing it is. When it comes to like a full glam, I always use this powder because it just helps give me that full glam look that I'm going for flawless airbrush finish and this one I usually take it down here as you guys saw I put it down here um, right here and a little bit around this part to blend everything together and sometimes I, and then I will go back with number three and just kind of touch up a little bit so I don't lose any of that brightening effect that I want to just look more awake and I will take number three on my eyelid as well because my eyelid always gets so oily I love okay like Charlotte did that next we're gonna do a little bit of blush I'm gonna use the chic to the cheek to chic I can never say these two words together the cheek to chic chic <laughs> the cheek to chic um climax it's called the climax i hope this still exists because i got this a long time ago you guys but this is it this is it here this is one of my first things i ever purchased from charlotte Tilbury years ago like literally years ago and i still think it's an amazing color i really really love it is it here really pretty i really hope she still has it this is one of those blushes where you kind of swirl the blush the brush in there so you basically you swirl the brush in to both colors and then you just pop it on real pretty really really pretty i heard about this from jackie Ina years ago this product is probably expired but we're not going to talk about it okay we're not going to talk about it but it still looks good though i didn't pick up any eyeshadow palettes and that's definitely something i want to get next time you guys probably notice i'm not always doing eyeshadow i simply just don't have a lot of time i guess so i skip it but I do want to try one of her eyeshadow palettes. That's something I've never tried from her. So when I go back to Sephora, I'm going to definitely pick one up. I clearly, I'm obsessed with her products. And I feel like I'm going to have to force myself to not use all of these on an everyday basis. Because they're so good, I'm going to want to use them every day. And nothing else. So it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. <laughs> so I am a huge fan. And it's definitely one of my top two favorite mascaras. The Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, I believe it's called. I have a picture on the screen. I can't find it. I don't know what I did with it. And that always happens whenever I'm obsessed with something, I lose it. I wouldn't be surprised if I took it to work. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on eyelashes. I'm gonna use these from Ardell. These are the 701 Wispies. All right, so we did our lashes for my lips. We're gonna do lip liner and I picked up a new lip liner. I have Pillow Talk number three Intense. It is, so this is it here. It's a dark brown lip liner. So we're gonna go ahead and apply this. <laughs> So I did mention this in my haul, but lip liners are things that I don't usually pick up. I tend to stick with the ones that I know work and I have like three or four that I rotate within. But this color looks really good and it's definitely gonna be joining the rotation because it looks amazing. So, and the formula feels really good. It's very easy to work with. It's very smooth and it blend, um, it blended really well when I just smudged it, like this little smudgy thing I do. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna go in with this lipstick and it's called um, what is this called? Super Fabulous. And this is from one of her newer collections. It's like a nudish color. A deeper nude for deeper skin tones. Well, it's not only for deeper skin tones, but it's going to work really nice on deeper skin tones. Ooh, this color is serving 90s model. This makes my lips look so good. I'm gonna go ahead and fix my edges and I'll be back to chat about the products I tried and give you guys my thoughts on everything. All right, girl, so this is the entire look. I did the lips. I love the way the lips look. I think everything is just freaking amazing. There's not one product that I actually do not like. The only thing I have an issue with is the container of the concealer just because it just doesn't work for my preference because you can see like I squeezed a little bit too much earlier and then now it has a little 
um, excess a little bit more came out so I think I'm gonna try cutting this and seeing if I can work with it that way because the formula is freaking amazing it looks so good I just hate the container everything else I 100% love I think she is just really amazing at everything she creates I think um, Charlotte Tilbury and Pat McGrath are two lines that I feel like a lot of the products they make I am obsessed with I think the formulas are just really amazing and I feel like they hardly ever miss and it's just so amazing so let me know your favorite Charlotte Tilbury products if there's anything that you like comment down below also I'm curious is there anything that you do not like let me know if there's anything from Charlotte Tilbury that you don't like and why you don't like it because I am curious as well I rave about a few of these products all the time but now I'm gonna have even more to rave about so and don't mind me I am obsessed with this lip color though it's not a lip color that I would normally pick out but I really love it. All right, girls, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll have everything linked down below in the description box so you can check everything out. I will hopefully remember to put the shades as well so you guys can know what shades to get. And I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.